Good day once again. Uh, I welcome you all to this other short video that tries to explain how to solve um, second order exact uh, differential equations. So in this example, you are given y squared plus lin x uh, y prime out equal to that. So given this uh, problem, uh, I would advise you to rewrite this expression, but I want to clearly see what's going on with this y prime. So I will have y squared plus lin x, but y prime is dy dx, then equal to minus x cubed minus y over x. All right? Um, so I just rewrote uh, this uh, y prime, the other uh, version of that is dy dx. So now I want to take this dx component and multiply that side and remain with this bracket in dy. So I will have y squared plus lin x dy is equal to, I want to factor out minus for these two quantities. I'll have that plus y over x, close that, multiply by dx. All right. Now, I want to take this uh, dx to this side and equate everything to zero. Then I'll end up with x to the power of 3 plus y over x, close bracket, dx, plus this other uh, term here, y squared plus ln x dy is equal to zero. Okay? So this um, differential equation from here to this stage, you can look at this uh, expression. You can identify that uh, this is uh, an ODE of this nature plus a certain function of x comma y multiplying to y is equal to z. So if we have an ODE of this nature, then if we can prove that the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x, if this condition is satisfied, therefore we can happily say the ODE, the given differential equation, is exact. All right? So we want to see if this given ordinary differential equation is exact. If it becomes exact, then we can proceed solving it uh, uh, with this technique. So let's check these partial derivatives here. All right. So let's see. Uh, the partial derivative of m with respect to y if we do that, the partial derivative of this, uh, the, the m is this bracket. The partial derivative of that with respect to y, this will be a constant. x cubed will be a constant, it becomes 0. Then, uh, if, if you look at this, the partial derivative with respect to y, then 1 over x will be a constant. If it's factored out, the derivative of, uh, of uh, y is 1. So, we end up with 1 over x. Now, let's see what is the partial derivative of n with respect to x this time. This with respect to x, this expression, y is a constant, so it becomes 0. But the derivative of ln x with respect to x is 1 over x. So as you can see, we are getting 1 over x for both the partial derivative of m with respect to y and the partial derivative of n x comma y with respect to x. Therefore, the ODE, the ODE is exact. Now, it being exact, it implies that there exists, there exists 
a certain function capital f x comma y such that okay let's list the two conditions uh, such that for this capital f if we take the partial derivative of this capital f with respect to x we get m the m function, the one that we call the m, uh, this one. Alright? This is condition number one, and condition number two is that the partial derivative of this capital F with respect to y will give us nx comma y. Alright? So there are the two conditions that we are going that we are going to use to uh, in order for us to come up with uh, our solution, all right? So, um, the idea is you pick, with, you can start off with this second condition to, to determine capital F, or you can start off with this to determine capital F. But the idea is to look at these two functions, M and N, and see which one is easier to integrate. So, as you can see, integral of ln x could be uh, a bit tedious. But the integration of this side uh, with respect to, to x by condition 1, right? With this, by this condition, um, if, so it means that the partial derivative of f with respect to x is equal to this function m, so which is x cubed plus y over x. Now, if I want to determine what is f, I will say, I will integrate, right? Because this is differentiation. If I want to replace, I will integrate. So, if I integrate with respect to x, I will get this f, and then I will just integrate the, the right-hand side, x cubed plus y over x with respect to x. All right, let's do that. So the integration of x cubed with respect to x, it will be x to the power 4 over 4. All right? And then the integral of this with respect to x, y is a constant. So it becomes y natural logarithm x. All right? You can put the modulus, it doesn't matter. And then because we are integrating with respect to x, we can now add a constant in terms of a function of 1, strictly 1. Because if I'm going to differentiate this, I should be able to go back at this stage. Because this will be x cubed, and this will be y over x, and this becomes 0 when I'm differentiating with respect to x, and then I'll be here. So this is correct. Now, we use condition 1 to come up with a general uh, capital F, right? Now we make use of we make use of uh, condition two. Then we say by two, we are told that by two the partial derivative of the capital F with respect to y will give you n. So we want to apply this on this general F so that we equate to n, which is this function right here. So let's do the partial derivative of this expression that we just got with respect to y. Let's do that by 2. So with respect to y, this term will be a constant. x will be a constant, so we we'll throw that away to be 0. But here, the partial derivative of this piece with respect to y, we will have natural logarithm x plus The partial derivative of that with respect to y gives you h prime of y. And we are told if we do that, we will get n. And n is none other than y squared plus ln x. Now, we can just simplify this further by taking ln to that side, it subtracts, it gets 0. And then you can clearly see that h prime of y is y squared. And for me to reverse this differentiation, I want to determine what hy is, I will integrate. And I will get hy is equal to the integral of y squared, which will give me y cubed over 3. 
So, um, I'm running out of space, so I should let me read the top part, which is the original problem, and then I'll use this other uh, part of the chart. So now, I can now say, ah, okay, therefore, my fxy is equal to, I'm, I'm going to make it this general, but I want to replace hy with that. So it becomes x to the power 4 over 4 plus y non x plus y cubed over 3, which should be equal to c, y, since uh, the ODE is exact, okay, it should be equal to a constant, all right? So, but I, I, I left something here. We were given that y0 is equal to, uh, the problem was saying y1, if you substitute a 1, you are going to get 0. Yeah, that was the initial, the, 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 uh, yeah, you can call that, uh, it's not initial, but it's a, one of the conditions that satisfies this. Uh, solution. So now let's apply this condition in here to determine what C is. Alright, so if we plug 1, we will have 1 quarter plus ln of 1, which is a 0 times 1, which is a 0, plus we put a 0 there, 0 over 3 should be equal to C. Uh, so C is equal to one quarter, and therefore the solution is x to the power four over four plus y ln x plus y cubed over three, okay, is equal to one quarter. So this becomes your answer for the given ODE, right, in that condition. Right? That condition will just help you to determine what the constant C is, and then that's it. Watching this video, see you next time.